I've received a huge number of emails raising concerns about the new Alliance for Food Security and Nutrition and I wanted to let you know how I'm acting to prevent this initiative from threatening the livelihoods of some sub of subsistence farmers across the world. This new alliance was launched in May 2012 in the aftermath of the global food price crisis. It's a partnership between the G8 countries, 10 African countries, private sector organisations and civil society groups and it says that its aim is to achieve sustained, inclusive, agriculture-led growth in Africa. As Greens in the European Parliament, we work closely with Oliver de Schutter, former UN Special Rapporteur for the Right to Food, and we're aware of his report, which is highly critical of this initiative and its potential threat to food security. My German colleague, Maria Heubuch, persuaded the Parliament's Development Committee to produce a report on this issue, and she will write that report. I will be writing a similar report for the Agriculture Committee. We are concerned that what is labelled as a development initiative privileges agribusiness and corporations over smallholder farmers and their communities. Here, food security and nutrition appear to be secondary to export opportunities and growth. If we were truly interested in putting nutrition at the heart of rebuilding food systems, we would shift the focus away from global profitability and towards the quality of the soil and its produce in local communities. Similarly, we are concerned that policies, the policies proposed are not sufficiently taking into account the primary role of women. It's vital to consult women to empower them and to involve them equally in any initiative claiming to address food security. In recent decades, agricultural policies have made maximization of production the target and the new Alliance for Food Security continues down this misguided path. It claims to tackle food insecurity through the promotion of large-scale farming and export-led growth. As Greens, our focus is not to increase the production of agricultural commodities for markets, but it is to enable populations to feed themselves. We believe that we should protect the interests of smallholder farmers against land grabbing, corruption and land speculation. Without this, a short-sighted focus on outside investment would risk concentrating land ownership and dispossessing communities of the resources they rely on. Industrial farming also pushes farmers towards input dependency. They get locked into buying patented seeds and pesticides from the corporations. Instead of this, we should support local seed banks and exchanges and the continuous development of local seed varieties. This is not only vital to farmers' self-sufficiency, but also crucial in maintaining and improving agrobiodiversity worldwide. So I'm really glad you're taking an interest in this issue, an issue that is so vital to so many peasant farmers across the world. And I can assure you that I will do my best to protect their interests and their right to a secure and sustainable livelihood.